Now, the entire coastline at risk for flooding right now, putting homes and businesses at risk. News means Jack Mullen is in one of those businesses that is flooding, we're told, Jack, right now. This is in Booth Bay Harbor. What are you, what are you seeing there? Yeah, that's right, Brian and Amanda. We are at a pizza bar here in Booth Bay Harbor, which is actually right along the boardwalk. And just take a quick look at these, this floor right here. Literally a matter of minutes. A matter of minutes here is all it took for all of this water to flood through here. And now we're seeing several inches. Now, just taking a quick walk, you can see it's coming up through the floorboards here. And now we're almost at about six inches of water. Now, this all, like I said, came in about a matter of minutes. Let's take a quick walk outside here. And you can just see how much the flood water has come through the boardwalk. This is quite a sight to see here because last time we joined you about an hour ago, none of this was flooded. We are actually about a foot or two from flooding. That just shows how quickly this water came up here. Um, and for anybody who's been on a boardwalk while it's been flooding, you could first hear that knocking of the water under the boardwalk. We got to see a lot of that happen. So, and the owners here at the Pier 1 Pizza Shop, they told me the first indicator of what would be flooding would be the sewer. Now the sewer did flood. You can't even see it anymore. Now it's about two and two feet underwater. Where I'm standing, of course, is about a foot underwater, but this is just absolute flooding that we're seeing much along here in Booth Bay Harbor, but also throughout the rest of the mid coast, too. Now, this isn't the first time the boardwalk has flooded either. We saw about a similar level of this back on Wednesday where the pizza shop flooded as well. And again, you could feel that wind. That wind has not given up at all here, even though the rain seems a little bit lighter. Now, like I said, this is not the first time that we have seen flooding here in Booth Bay Harbor. We saw it earlier this week, the same pizza shop we were in, they flooded as well. We got to talk with the owner of that pizza shop and talk about kind of his reaction to this ongoing flooding. Let's take a quick listen about what he has to say here. It was uh, a shock. I mean, I didn't I didn't expect it to come in a that fast and, and be that much. Uh, and I got a phone call from one of my employees who said the water was splashing up at around 730 and I came down and by eight o'clock we had six inches of water in here. High tide wasn't until 930. And of course, that was back on Wednesday. And believe it or not, we still have less than an hour to go until high tide fully peaks here. Now take a quick look right here. There, This flooding does not go without damaging property. This is a freezer that they had here at the pizza shop that is now no longer working. And again, that wind just does not give up at all. We are expected the floodwaters to continue to rise here in Booth Bay Harbor. But the owner, a little bit of good news, the owner said that they are still serving slices today. If you are watching from the Booth Bay area and want to support a local business. But for now, we are live here in Booth Bay Harbor. Jack Molmud, New Center, Maine. Wow, what a mess there, Jack. Thank you so much for that. Jeez, and it's, as he said, it's probably only going to get worse there. Right, I mean, the fact that we keep we keep mentioning this, but we're about 45 minutes away from uh, the high tide, so the fact that it's already in a number of buildings uh, speaks to what's coming.